welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited for today's video. We're gonna be doing a clean and decorate with me and just starting to throw some fall vibes into my house. I actually think eventually in a few weeks I'll probably get some real pumpkins and get like a little bit more fall going on. But if you guys have watched my channel for a while, you know that when it comes to holiday decor, I love decorating for holidays, but I'm a very neutral person. I like things to kind of go with the decor I already have and I don't kind of go overboard. I'm definitely a little more minimalistic when it comes to decor. So fall is probably my favorite holiday or like time of year to decorate for. And I love Christmas, but I think fall has a little bit of a win over Christmas for me just because I love the smells that come with fall and the food. I can't wait to share fall recipes with you guys in the next little while. And there's just something about it that I really love. Although, now that we are in North Carolina, it doesn't necessarily feel as much like fall as Pennsylvania does. You have all the leaves and the trees in Pennsylvania. You just can't beat the way that the mountains look and everything whenever the fall season rolls around. And obviously I'm a little ahead of the game doing YouTube, but we're always one step ahead generally when it comes to this kind of stuff. So this is a little bit early, but I thought I would give you guys some inspiration to just start bringing some fall vibes into your life, into your house. Doesn't have to be all the way. You can just dip your toe in the fall season. And here is four tips I have that you can do that. The first tip is to put some cinnamon in your coffee. You can either shake it right into your coffee, but the way I like to do it is I use reusable K-cups. So I just put my coffee grounds into my K-cups. I put a little bit of cinnamon across the top, put it into my Keurig and make my coffee that way. And honestly, today was the first day that I did that this year. And it just brought back so many memories of doing that through the fall season last year. The second tip I have for you guys is one to make your house smell super spicy, smell all those fall vibes, and that is to do a great fall oil blend. And obviously we can do candles. I have a candle that I'll show you guys a little bit later, but this is a way that even if you're not out and about, you can go right now and throw some oils in your diffuser. I'm gonna call this little recipe warming up to fall. It's six drops of clove, six drops of orange, four drops of cardamom, four drops of kessa, and four drops of ginger. The third way that you can start bringing some fall in is to switch up your letter boards or your chalkboards. I have both and I love the fact that I can kind of slide in the next season without getting all my decor out by putting a cute saying on or a Bible verse or a great reminder or just something that's fun or even humorous sometimes. I get questions all the time about where I get my letter boards and to be honest, I think most all of them I have found at HomeGoods or TJ Maxx. I don't know if I've ever really paid like the full price on a letter board. Ooh, another great place is Hobby Lobby. Wait for them to go half off and you can get them super inexpensive. My fourth tip for you, and we're gonna be doing a little bit of this today, is to just bring in some neutral fall decor, like white pumpkins, you know, things that don't bring in the browns and the oranges yet, and just stick with those neutrals. I personally like that for the whole season, but I know some people really enjoy all the oranges and reds and that sort of thing, so you could start out with your neutrals and then add in the brighter colors as the season progress. All right, so there's my four tips for you. Let me know in the comments if you try any of these or if there's something that you already do. And let's go ahead and get started in our decor. So I'm gonna take you guys out in the dining room. We're gonna lay out our decor. If you've never done a decorate video with me, I really like to lay out all of the things I'm gonna be working with, kind of get inspired, and then I'm gonna be going into the living room and cleaning up a little bit. My kitchen and my living room is what I'm gonna be focusing on today, and both of them are a pretty big mess right now. And then I'm also going to be pulling down some decor that I'm going to be putting away that I'm not going to be using for this season. I had went a little bit bolder. I did a bolder wall hanging for the summertime and I'm ready to take it down and just kind of switch things up. So let's go ahead and head out to the dining room and I'll show you guys what all we're going to work with today.
got everything laid out, which is the best way to decorate. It inspires me so much to see all my colors together, and I'm still really loving the like light green vibes that had going on last year. I picked up a few things at Hobby Lobby the other day, and I actually have some footage, which I'm gonna show you guys, of some of their fall decor. To be 100% honest, I wasn't as crazy about their fall decor this year as their stuff they had last year. I really like neutrals and they didn't have a ton of neutral stuff, but another place I like to check out is Big Lots. So I'm hoping at some point in the next few weeks I might stop in there and add a few more things. But I'll show you what I found at Hobby Lobby. So I picked up this candle, it smells so good, and yes it's orange, but it smells really good. It's a buttery pumpkin is the smell of it. And it's very like soft, kind of a vanilla pumpkin. And if you guys watch my channel a lot, you know that I do do a lot of essential oils. But when fall time comes and Christmas time comes, I just love the way it looks to have a burning candle sitting around. It's just so cozy and just kind of gives that ambiance, you know? All right, so the second thing I picked up was this. And this was not in the fall section, I don't think. I'm not sure what area it was in. But I know I got it half off, which of course is always a score. So it's these like wooden beads. And as you can see, each of them have a little clip on them. I don't know where I'm gonna use them at. One thing I did think about doing is I have these little like husk thingies from Walmart. I think I got them from Walmart a year or two ago. And I could clip them on this. I just felt like this would be a great piece even to go into Christmas that I could clip little things on, maybe even Christmas cards, something like that. And it's really a pretty good size. All right, so the last thing I got is what I'm gonna do on the wall instead of what is there now, which is the wall hanging. And I'm actually gonna have Corey help me out with this because he's a lot better at doing all of this. And he actually, I mentioned that I needed some screws and anchors and stuff for these. And he like went to Lowe's, it was like within an hour of me mentioning it found everything I needed, even found me gold screws so that they matched. So it was just the sweetest thing. So anyways, he's gonna help me out with these. So they're these little hooks and I'm gonna put them across the wall and I have like a cute hat to hang on them. I just love the rattan detailing on these. I have six of them, so I'm gonna put them above the couch. You guys will see how it looks. I'm really excited. I also love the fact that they are kind of like more of a gold color. So yeah, those are the things that I got to go with my fall decor. I know they're not super fall related, but I wanna pull in a little more neutrals, kinda tone down my living room um, through the fall and winter time, just make it a little more relaxed. Relax, so these things will help me out with that. I started out by just getting my living room all picked up and just cleaned up kind of back to its normal state so that I could feel really inspired and think through where I wanted to put the different decor pieces that I have for fall and what I wanna take down. It just, a mess just makes me unable to think. <laughs> so having it cleaned up definitely helped me feel the fall vibes and inspiration. Here is what my decor has looked like in here for the summer. And I had put all of this up here. This wall hanging has got like a little bit of that orange in it, some blue in it, just a bunch of different colors. And like I said, I'm looking to go a little bit more neutral right now, kind of pull out some of the colors. So I'm gonna take out like this blue guy right here and this pillow and obviously change up the wall. So I'm going to now actually like empty off this shelf 
possibly take that stuff down. I may end up putting some stuff back up, but sometimes it's just easier for me to start off with a little bit more of a clean slate. So I'm gonna take everything off that wall. I probably will use these baskets within my decor, but just not on the wall, because I think they look really fall oriented and just bringing in kind of that natural fiber. So let's kind of undecorate and then we'll start to redecorate. dust off my little shelf I have here. I grabbed my Norwex dusting mitt and just took it and rubbed it up against my clothes. It gets static electricity and then it collects all the dust off of your surfaces. It's super awesome. And then these are the screws and the anchors that he picked up for me. I don't know the names of them, but if you want to pause the video and write them down in case you're looking to do a project similar to this. Um, but they worked out super well and obviously the gold screws matched my hook perfectly. After that, I went ahead and measured off my couch and measured off my wall just to get everything really centered. I also had a long level I was working with just to try my best to center the hooks above the couch. So when you're using anchors, you just get a drill bit, the correct size for that anchor. You drill a hole and then you take a hammer and tap the anchor in. This makes it so that you don't have to necessarily hit a stud, but you get a really strong hold. So in case I was hanging something a little heavier off of these hooks, it wouldn't damage the wall behind the hooks. coffee table area and I decided to put this woven tray in. I just feel like those tones bring in such a fall vibe, especially when you think about how the cornfields look during the fall time. They've got that golden look to them. That's why I love incorporating baskets during the fall. Okay, so now we're moving on to the kitchen. And like I said, it was a pretty big mess. <laughs> it was in need of being cleaned up. So I went ahead and got started on the dishwasher and reloading it. the next day and last night I kind of ran out of daylight so I decided to finish up cleaning up like the dishes and stuff and um, we actually made dinner and then I just kind of stopped everything I was doing with the decorating and stuff and I'm repicking up today so I'm gonna finish up some cleaning and then add a few fall touches here and there I also want to put a couple things over on my little coffee bar that I have in my kitchen and yeah, we'll see what else I get done. My kitchen was in real need of being washed down. So I put some dish soap in the sink and then I added a little bit of cinnamon essential oil just to bring in those fall smells. I know that we often gravitate towards 
the fall cleaners that the stores carry during this time of year. But one way that you can go without all the chemicals is just to add a little bit of cinnamon or clove essential oil. It brings in such a great smell. About my sink I just put some dish soap and some baking soda into the sink and went ahead and scrubbed it down with a scrub brush I just think this does a great job and then sometimes I take an Envirocloth from Norwex over it all just to make it nice and shiny but this day I was kind of in a hurry and just needed to get the sink cleaned out tray on my coffee bar just to replace what I had there kind of change things up and put the cinnamon into my little shaker there I just needed to fill that and added a few small pumpkins then on our bar area I got one of those baskets that was actually hanging on the wall and I added in some small pumpkins and then this area used to be where my coffee bar was before I changed things up and now it's just kind of a decor area in my kitchen with how everything turned out I think I'm definitely gonna do a second wall cleaning video because I also want to do some deep cleaning just for the season change and everything but this kind of got me in the mood got my house smelling really good smelling like cinnamon and all the fall scents going on and it just put in a little bit of fall here and there and it just makes me excited to do even more like I want to do something with our front porch and I won't give away too much but it's definitely got me inspired today let me know in the comments when you guys start decorating for fall I would love to hear from you I always respond to the ones that I can sometimes I get a lot so I have to you know divide my time out on how much time I'm gonna spend responding 
responding to comments, but I love reading your comments. I read every single one of them. And if you guys are new here, I'd love it if you subscribed, joined my channel. I do lots of cooking and cleaning and decorating and mommy content. Also, don't forget to give this video a like and I'll see you guys in my next video.